Chapter 23, Understanding Closures. Solution Movie 23.1. In this exercise, you will use what you have learned about closures to enhance the closure demo project. So our first step is to open the closure demo project in Xcode. I've got that right here. And as you can see, the employee view controller is currently using the standard get all entities method to return a list of employees. So we'll comment that out. We'll replace it with self.employee.getAllEntities. And we want the one that accepts a closure. So I'll select that one. I press return. Code completion fills in the blanks for me. And this method is passing me an entity list. So I can say self.employeeList equals entity list. And then I can say self.tableView.reloadData. So I call this method, and when it goes out and retrieves those entities, that action is complete, it passes the entities to me. I take that entity list, store it in my employee list, and I tell the table view to reload its data, where it will then use that list in order to fill it again. So let's see how it looks at runtime. And here's our first screen. This is our company view controller. When I tap here, we'll go to the employee view controller. And there we have it. It's working great. 